Thank you for joining me, Air Science, and those with air dominant charts here at the Oracle of the Feather Crowned Tree. I'm so happy to be with you this week again. This week I'm offering free readings to people that leave a question in the comment area. Just look in the description box below for a little more direction on how to do this if you'd like to participate. And can't wait to do that for you guys. So I will be explaining this reading as I go through. Do know that you can jump ahead if you'd like to, to the intuitive part. There's also a, a timestamp below if you want to get there. Super quick. I will start with the readings from the author's decks, though. So your center card is representing your will. And we are going to take a card from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. This week you have optimism. So let's see what we have here. This is representing Moon in Sagittarius. Moon Sagittarians are somewhat idealistic emotionally. They express feelings honestly and expect others to be equally straightforward. Usually confident, people with this planet's sign combination can unthinkingly be crushingly gouache with their frankness. It is important for Sagittarians to say what they understand to be true at the risk of hurting the feelings of other people, believing that their honesty is more important to relationships than well-meaning white lies. Moon Sagittarians types are far-thinking and always have their sights set on distant lands and truths. Journeying is their pleasure and their optimism is unbounded. Emotions are high when they are on the move, traveling physically or mentally. They probably still have a deep unconscious emotional attachment to the religious, social, and ethical values inherited from family during childhood. Though these beliefs may now manifest as something more unorthodox, the spiritual side of life is of great significance to moon Sagittarians. Negatively, the person this card describes may reflect a narrow and dogmatic social or religious outlook. The optimism card may describe an extreme and immovable fundamentalist. All right, we're going to move over to the east. This is representing the fire element. And it's all about your spirituality. From the Dragon Oracle deck, we have the Lilac Fire Dragon. Transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. When you choose this card, a Lilac Fire Dragon will touch you with incredible ninth dimensional light. So call it in and ask it to touch you. As it approaches you, breathe in divine love and sense the lilac fire enveloping you. This will enable you to let go of the old easily, calmly, and graciously. Notice particularly how you feel when this dragon touches you and sense the purity of the love that it radiates. Ask this dragon to remain with you, to anchor the glorious light of the lilac fire and take you into a new, illumined way of being. When you do this, the love radiating from your heart will become purer and more beautiful. People will sense this and respond with trust, respect, and gratitude. Consciously work with this beautiful dragon and notice the difference it makes to your life and the quality of love around you. The south is the position of water, and it's relating to your emotions. From the power of Hawaiian wisdom, you have the little people, persistence, a hard -working, as hardworking and creative spirits. These people have been compared to the creative sparks which shoot across the universe. The way these people work is perceived as mysterious and incomprehensible, although they often accomplish amazing feats. 
perhaps you can gain some clues to understanding the mysteries of them if you consider what it takes to produce the stonework that they are best known for. Stonework requires the many small elements fit together to make up a finished structure and demands close attention to the detail. These people do not work alone. When one works, thousands of others work also. Because they work at night, it is easy to overlook the tremendous discipline and occasionally dull details that their creations require. It is often easy to overlook the incredible effort that has gone into the creative works or relationships of others. This may be the mystery of these people, seemingly magical ability to get things done. Patience, persistence, attention to detail, and an ability to ask for assistance when necessary. Use the tools of these people to provide, to produce a truly spectacular achievement. The West, the element of earth, all that is physical. From the Dreamtime deck, you have Moth, the Shadow Self. The Bogon Moth played a major part in the diet of some of the traditional peoples of Australia. It is a very large moth, almost as long as her hand. The moths gather together at certain times of the year to mate and lay their eggs. Many language groups would join together to feast on these moths, which were a fantastic food source full of good fats and proteins when they were in season. It is because the bogon moth was so important in the traditional diet of some Aboriginal people that it was shared communally. This needed a high level of trust between the different groups and also tolerance of each other's differences. The moth as a messenger is associated with hidden meanings and information. It also represents your shadow self or those parts of yourself you prefer not to show others. Because the moth is a nocturnal insect and is able to see in the darkness and gravitate towards the light, it asks you to be honest about what interferes or issues you are being encouraged to bring forward into the light. A moth looks dull until the moon or light illuminates the shine of silver dust coating its wings, allowing its true magic and beauty to be seen. And in the north, the position of air, this is the direction of your communication. You have quail this week from my Aztec themed deck. Its keywords here are healing and rehabilitation. If quail has made an appearance in your cards or in your life, it is time to set things right, to mend that which has been broken. It is a time of healing, of rehabilitation for a particular ailment or perhaps for an emotional injury. Quail is here to remind you that healing is a process that takes time. Rest is a requirement for healing for every type, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Rehabilitation also takes patience, commitment, and forgiveness. We cannot always be warriors. We all have weaknesses and ailments and would benefit from learning to be gentle with ourselves and to let go of critical judgments of our progress. Sometimes healing and rehabilitation take more courage than you can imagine. You may not believe you have that courage, but you do. Okay, my lovely, lovely air signs. Let's see what we have here intuitively for you. Looks like you're having a very uh, joyous sort of driven week. You seem to be full of energy. Any type of romance seems to still be fluttering about you. You may have something that you've been thinking about that is kind of complex and a little bit full of magic. 
you may feel driven to just move ahead with a lot of grace and beauty, just fully restored, and you may feel motivated by perhaps you've been spending time with friends and lovers, enjoying music and drink and horticulture or something, and just being together. So that's a very, very auspicious center card that you have. And as we move over to your spirituality, this also is very amazing. It, I'm getting a sense of magic again here. Um, maybe you are kind of into doing some magic. You may be working with flowers, um, something that could be like an essence or aromatherapy. Perhaps you're burning herbal things, incense. It, it seems to be something that um, is transformative, though, something that you're working with. Perhaps it's a healing modality that's adding transformation in, in a way that's magical not only for yourself but for other people and you may be really working quite a bit with this type of material you seem to be very at home in your element as far as spirituality goes this week emotionally things may seem a little bit complicated there may be a lot of people that you're dealing with um, there could be a sense of things being kind of burdensome, although you're working towards a vision together, you're trying to build. It's not that I see disharmony, but it may just be a lot of work, and it may it may not be so much like personally fulfilling, but it may be that you're just contributing to the well-being of a group this week for a, a higher purpose together. You are uh, very stable right now in your physical environment. You feel It feels like you've really built yourself up. You are physically strong. At any moment, you could go somewhere if you wanted to, you have the ability to, to move about in your environment if you want to. You seem very restored, very powerful in your strength. And there is a sense of something luminous, um, something that's part of your physical reality that brings you the qualities that the moon can bring as far as inner reflection and, and just a, a better sense of knowing your true self, not the one that you show to people. So maybe you're spending some alone time with yourself or in your home or whatever you find as a sanctuary and really getting to know that side of your person. And this makes me really happy to see the communication sector of this reading for you. You seem to be owning it, like you are not having any issues here. You are communicating with a sense of sacred purpose. You're in your joy. You feel illuminated. You are able to think clearly, express clearly, and you could even be, be being admired for how you are presenting your thoughts and ideas and communicating during this time. It seems very, very successful. So I'm seeing a lot of really great energy out here for you guys on the board this week. Happy, happy to see that for you. And we're going to wrap it up right there. I do thank you for joining me. Please look to my other playlists if you'd like to sample any of my other types of readings. I have several different types on there. And I do hope that you'll join me again. Much peace, many blessings to you.